Hey everyone, it's me, Manic Mark. That's right. This whole art challenge thing's been very so. I've been and I'm tired. So, ooh, I have to drink some coffee. Howdy, folks. It's me, Manic Mark, coming to you from the bunker system. The the reason I only well six paintings, but yeah, they all got bids on them. That's pretty cool, and multiple bids on some. Hello, I'm Manifesto. You may call me Manifesto. Someone in France wanted me to ship to France. I not that this will help. At a certain point even even coffee doesn't help. I should just get that tiredness. And you can't sleep because you're manic. When the whole art challenge is over, I'm going to have like the manic downswing and crash. I have to apologize to anyone who's watching these videos and wants a painting and lives outside, even in Canada, because my job, my, what I, I I'm not good at making up characters. What I do here is to manifest images of myself through remote viewing. You all know what remote viewing is. On eBay, I only shipped to the U.S., and I, and I started doing that a long time ago. You can tell how many feedbacks I got. But the few times I sold anything overseas was a nightmare. So I just stopped doing it. It's not to say that every single instance was a nightmare, but more often than not, it was a nightmare. You project uh, paranormally, uh, you can say psychotically, my uh, brain powers uh, anywhere in the world and I can make them take the shape of anything like a sea wiener for instance which I sent to Australia should be there any moment now to poop fire on the beach of Australia the beaches of Australia and just not one pile many many piles the snake is going to be highly annoying to the people that live in Australia and then but the, the main problem is you gotta pack everything beforehand so you, you know exactly the size and how much, and then you have to calculate it for people who are just interested. You know what I'm saying? They want to know the, the cost. And I can understand that, but it's just so crazy here. I just can't, I can't do it. I've never done it. Yeah, yeah. Since a long time ago, I stopped doing that. And I suggest that when you concentrate, you do your remote viewing exercises, that you surround yourself with a pure white light. It's, think of it as a force field. You'll have this force field around you and you'll have this thin silver thread that basically goes from your consciousness that you're projecting in the pure white goodness force field, the force field of goodness we should call it for short, that's your lifeline, that silver thread and the force field is there to protect you from any dark forces that you may encounter. Now, uh, but I have to apologize. It's not, nothing personal. It's just, it's more often than not, just the, not you, not me, but everything that goes on in between that makes it difficult. Anyway, that date robots in the future, humans will be dating robots, and they'll probably have a game, and this woman picks picks one the one of the, the third robot and I, I don't understand why I've said that I, and I don't need to say it again this is just uh, 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 I went way too on way too long about that so uh, and I only have six paintings I man 13 paintings it's kicked my ass I don't think I can do it I, I made a couple more there you're looking at it it's um the dating game the robot dating game where humans date robots let me prepare mentally to do this. Oh, and please don't do this at home. Uh, please leave remote viewing up to the trained professionals, such as myself, man Festa. I'm counting backwards from three, two, one, and in this case, it's robot number three. He's he's the winner. Robot number three. For some reason, the the young woman preferred the young human preferred uh, robot number three as her uh, date. So you know you are at their bid. You got to be the top bidder to win it. 
traveling, traveling outside my body, traveling, I'm going south, I'm following I-75 southbound, south, picking up speed, going south, faster and farther south, slowing down, slowing down, I see a white house, a frame, white house, on a busy street. The street is way too busy. I think the street should be widened. And the White House has a fence in front of it. The fence is a white wooden fence that's really run down. Oh, the other thing is, I came up with this little foil treatment. That's foil wrapped around and glued onto uh, underneath uh, double thick cardboard, so it's not going anywhere. It's pretty sturdy. But it has chicken heads on it. I'm going to go inside the house now. I'm going in through the back door. Now I'm in the kitchen. Oh my god. Mm. I ran out of beer boxes. You know what I use for my borders? I've done so many paintings, I outran my supply of. Um, used up my supply of um, beer boxes. How could you eat in this kitchen? This is, this is horrible. All the beer boxes you see on all my paintings are, is, come from boxes of beer that I've drank myself personally. Now I'm in the living room. There's some kind of cheap looking, almost like a whore sitting on the couch, sitting on the couch in the living room smoking a cigarette and drinking oh my god that looks like Michelob or something like that oh my god she's leaving she's angry she's angry now she's angry she's screaming and I'm not doing that so much you know like one beer that's it man I'm done okay and finally she throws the half empty can of Michelob at this this fellow that this person he came out of the bathroom he's wearing a white cowboy hat and a white shirt and I'll do supporting videos for all this I'm gonna put this up on the screen this is a new character I came up with his name is Manifesto he's a remote viewer and that's all I'm gonna say right now Manifesto he hasn't shaved in a good long while uh, looks like he could use some exercise She's gone. He's going back into the bathroom. I'm following him in. Manifest to the remote viewer. They, they, I'm gonna, on the day of the auction, is it five days or three days? One of the two days, I know, I know there's a shorter auction. I'm gonna post these two paintings. He's removing his clothes. It looks like he's going to take a shower. Oh, God. Uh, Manifesto and the robot. A human dating game painting robot state humans that's what I should say he's dropped the soap he's he's bending over to get the soap the robot no the robot date hum, the robot state him I know this is just wrong I can't go on with this I had see my white protective sphere of pure goodness protected me I bounced off this person as he was bending over to pick up the soap in his, his, in his bathroom and and I was able to return using my silver thread of of wholesomeness to get back to she chose him over the other robots I don't know why the purple robot and the blue robot they're both cute hello I'm Manifesto coming to you from Manifesto's remote viewing center MFRC Manifesto's remote viewing VC center. Some humans just don't have any taste. So there you go. I just wanted to also say that it was great fun last night. Even though it was a huge, dramatic, crazy work, I had a real good time. I enjoyed all the comments immensely. It's fun to have anybody bid anything on my artwork. I should just, I should, I should just, I should be haughty about it. Like, of course you bid on it. 
WTF. <laughs> Bid, there's the link there. It's a short video, just a, just, just bid. You know what to do. Thanks. Um, but the paintings are getting, they're, you know, you don't hear me toot my horn much, but they're getting a hell of a lot better. They're just a hell of a lot better than they were. The earlier stuff has a certain flair to it, but it's just different. This new stuff, um, it's the same, but yet it's, it's different. I don't know. There's more. Somehow, there's more control. With and, but it looks like there's less control. I don't even know how to say it. I can assure you. Like I can manifest myself as other things, anything you like, anywhere you like, at any time you like. Oh yeah.